The opening credit sequence of Amazon Prime Video's Bombay Meri Jaan shows us glimpses of iconic Mumbai landmarks, followed by flashes of violence and shootouts that take place in and around them. A look at how behind the glitz, glamour, wealth and shiny veneer of this city lies an unnerving underbelly of murder and bloodshed. Bambai Meri Jaan is based on Hussain Zaidi's popular book From Dongri to Dubai, which tells us the story of the Mumbai Mafia and the rise and rise of Daud Ibrahim, from a young boy on the streets of Bombay to dreaded gangster to one of the world's most wanted men. But the makers have lightly tweaked the names of all the key figures and notorious criminals while still keeping it abundantly clear who they all are. So here, Daud Ibrahim becomes Dara Kadri, Haji Mastan becomes Haji Makbul, Manya Surve becomes Ganya Surve. Chota Rajan becomes Chota Babban, and so on. Created by Rensel De Silva and Sujat Saudagar, who also directed all the episodes, Bambai Meri Jaan does a commendable job of using the long-form episodic structure, making a compelling argument for why a story like this needs to be a series in order to dwell on and dive deep into the journey as much as its destination. Especially early on in the first five episodes of the 10-episode series, I like that creators Sujat and Rensel take their time and mount a patient, effective origin story of the man who would go on to rule Mumbai and beyond, giving us a well-plotted, admirable show that at times threatens to be great. We're first introduced to a young Dara in the early 60s, a boy with a Tez de Mark who's too smart for his own good. We see his aptitude for cheeky neighborhood scams and making a quick buck how his eyes widen at the sight of flashy cars and wealth, his simmering rage when he's being beaten by his strict police officer father who struggles to provide for his family, telling little breadcrumbs that foreshadow the infamous figure he would go on to become. Young Dara is played by an impressive Mantan Darji. It's a sharp little bit of casting from Casting Bay, considering he even looks like Avinash Tiwari, the actor he grows up to become. Quick side note, but what a great year for teenage performances. The boys of Guns and Gulabs and School of Lies and the entire cast of Class. The future is looking mighty bright. Writers Rensel De Silva and Samira Rora's greatest triumph here is to frame Bambai Meri Jaan as a tragic father-son story. And what a rich story it is. Dara's father, Ismail Kadri, played by KK Menon, is the unwaveringly honest cop whose mistakes cost him his job. Ismail is a man who's not only forced to watch his son get sucked into the very criminal underworld that he spent his life fighting against, he's made to witness Dara's rise to become the worst there ever was. It's the ultimate tragic arc and KK Menon is excellent as a gradually withering, broken man who breaks a little more every day. It's also another inspired piece of casting. KK Menon is the actor many of us still associate with that iconic interrogation scene in Anurag Kashyap's Black Friday. There, he played a police officer investigating the perpetrators of the 93 bomb blasts. Here, he's the father of the alleged mastermind behind them. Like this, Bambai Meri Jaan is at its best and most potent when it leans into the horrors and tragedy of this tale within the familiar, entertaining rise of an underdog gangster packaging. When the family conflicts pack is much of a punch as the shootouts and action. A human story of insecure overlooked brothers, ashamed fathers and a mother played by a heartbreaking Nivedita Bhattacharya desperately trying to keep her family together caught between the stubborn morals of her husband and criminal dealings of her son. Similarly, there are moments where the show's use of violence is nothing short of harrowing. In the fifth and sixth episodes, we see and feel the horrors of the underworld when an innocent man and his bride are horrifically murdered on their wedding night. The violence is brutal and unforgiving. It's the series jerking us awake in the most uncomfortable but effective way to remind us of the very real loss of life beyond the fun and thrills of gangster stories. Oddly enough though, this wedding scene is an exception and we never see that level of deeply affecting violence again. But it's admittedly a very tricky balancing act to give us an entertaining gangster story while remaining cognizant of the fact that these are real life figures who've caused harm beyond comprehension. Because let's face it, you're rooting for Dara and his family. They are after all our protagonists. It's something that I couldn't shake off. The over-reliance on Ismail's often spoon feedy voiceover, the patches of shaky VFX in certain rooftop scenes, and that the more explosive last few episodes feel comparatively more rushed without the same level of tempered control as what comes before also certainly do the series no favours. Even as a character study of an objectively fascinating figure, Bambai Meri Jaan doesn't quite soar. 
As Dara, Avinash Tiwari continues to explore his dark side by playing dreaded figures after last year's Khaki, the Bihar chapter on Netflix, where he played notorious murderer Chandan Mato, who is also reportedly based on a real killer. Avinash is clearly talented, suitably convincing and always watchable. And while he does give us a fair sense of transformation, I always struggle to get a sense of the internal, to go beyond the surface and tap into the psychology and get us inside the heads of these haunting figures to see what makes them tick. Think of what Nawaz did with Ganesh Gaitonde in Sacred Games. But Avinash's performance here feels reliant on the storytelling and packaging around him. Alongside him and uplifted by Hussain and Abbas Dalal's vibrant dialogue, we get a fine ensemble worthy of a memorable gangster saga. The quietly steadfast Vivan Batena as Abdullah, Dara's muscle and mentor. A wonderfully cast Sumit Vyas getting one of the year's coolest character introduction moments. The always impressive Saurabh Sachdev as the cold, calculating, compassionate Haji. Nawab Shah as Pathan, a long overlooked actor finally given something worthwhile to do. But there's arguably no one I enjoyed watching as much as the scene stealing Kritika Kamra as Dara's sister, Habiba. Kritika is glorious as the patient, fierce woman refusing to be sidelined in a man's world. In her, we get the rousing female gangster arc that the second season of Mirzapur promised us, which Shweta Tripathi's Golu, but never really delivered. Curiously enough, Bombay Meri Jaan ends in the late 80s, shortly after the introduction of Chota Babban, aka Chota Rajan, played by an electric Aditya Raval. But the series doesn't delve into anything that comes after the 93 bomb blasts, the stranglehold over Bollywood, or the international figure Dara would go on to become. I'm assuming that's left for a second season, one I hope that we get to see. I'd give anything to spend more time with Habiba and Chota and watch what these actors do with them. Bombay Meri Jaan is for me the finest prime video show in a year full of worthy prime video shows. You can watch it, of course, on Amazon Prime Video.